Kimberly Walston. Welcome to Insiders Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without the quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about some benefits of sex, as if sex isn't benefit enough. And we'll be starting our new segment, The Hollywood Health Beat, where we head straight to LA to get a look at what the celebs are doing in the health world. Sex, sex, sex. Who doesn't love a good episode devoted to it? Forget about the intimacy it builds, the relationships it strengthens, and the downright fun of it. Sex could also be your best bet for a long and healthy life. That's right, I'm prescribing you more sex. Want to look younger? You could try Botox or wrinkle cream, or you could just put your sex to work for you. It turns out that people who regularly have sex look on average of four to seven years younger in their adult life. It also slims you down by burning calories, but also increases your heart rate, which could continue the weight loss after you're finished. How's that for a gym membership? Want to be happy and heart healthy? Sex will do it for you. And while of course you're usually happy during sex, it lessens stress in other areas of your life by up to 70%. Take that, so loft. Plus, regular sex seems to have a correlation to another 10 years in your life, and a healthier heart to boot. Definitely an improvement over avoiding bacon. And you can even fight the sniffles. Sex once or twice per week will raise your aminoglobulin A, an antibody that boosts the immune system. And if you're not up to date on your antibodies, just think, sex your way out of that cold. What a wonderful world we live in, where we're finally pushing a healthy rump in the sheets for a better, healthier life. Now we're taking you out of the studio and onto the streets of Los Angeles. Our girl Danica Quinn has her finger on the pulse of Hollywood, and she's going to bring us the latest dish on celebrity lifestyles. Just a few months after his unexpected divorce with Courtney Cox, David Arquette has checked into rehab. Seemingly devastated after the split, the former funny man hopped on the party train and rode at full speed into Alcoholicsville. David admitted to drinking and partying a lot, and even described himself as a maniac when under the influence. Sources say treatment is necessary to keep David from a nervous breakdown and insist that the reason for rehab is only alcohol and depression, not hard drugs. We can only hope that he's able to mend his broken heart and trade in the party train for a sober wagon. That's all the Hollywood Health Beat news for today. I'm Danica Quinn, and I've got my finger to the pulse of Hollywood. Back to you, Kim. Thanks, Danica. Always interesting to see how the other half deals with their problems. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.